Willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Sherlock Holmes. So, wir wollten das Metall analysieren. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. I must take a pipette and place several drops of acid upon the samples. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. Britannisch silver. Okay. Hä? Hab ich doch. Mir wird aber nichts angezeigt. Okay. Na dann. Ab wieder in die Therme und da lassen wir dann die drei Knallköpfe wegfahren. Ähm das, hey, das stimmt, hey, das passt alles nicht zusammen. Okay, seltsam, seltsam, seltsam. I can't understand what happened. If you have to interrogate me, I'd like to be dressed. Oh, the zoo. Blood traces wiped on the towel. Oh, seine Hand auch. I found him. I touched his shoulder, thinking that he Na, was just asleep. Lass sie abtransportieren. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? None, Lestrade. Um, Scotland Yard. So, am I jetzt wieder was Neues dazu kommen? Nein. Aha, ja. Können wir nichts machen. So, wo haben wir sie denn? Äh. Oh, diese Tür. Ey, ich drück nicht mal was, hallo? An embroidered silk handkerchief. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's Wartflower Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. Sir, 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 sir,
Wer das lesen möchte, bitte auf Pause drücken. Ne? Denn ja. An ordinary pencil. An old and rather dirty coin. Okay. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed oh, it before God. entering the steam room. Warum ist der geschweißt? I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too, with silver. Okay. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. Ja, lass uns the last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's wieder. last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. Muss ich das jetzt echt die ganze Zeit hier machen? Stunde mit Eik. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. <lacht> Alles klar. Heute habe ich ihn beinahe gefunden, dieser Tag wird, wird was auch immer. Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Ja. <lacht> geil. Der macht seinen Mund auf und kann äh, ja, aber da waren wir noch nicht fertig. A hand drawn map. So. Wenn wir jetzt die Leiche aufschnibbeln, die dipsen müssen. Ähm, ja. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion. But there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. Okay. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease. If we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker, and 63 years of age. Uh, some light bruising. 
caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Okay, genug gleiche für heute. Das Wasser und Blut ist eine bisher ungeklärte Spur in diesem Mordfall. Es muss irgendwie mit dem Mord zusammenhängen. Das Wasser und Blut lässt sich durch die feuchte Luft erklären. Die, ja, das erklärt es für mich als erstes. Erklärt es für mich als erstes, also ich denke mal, da würde mir jeder zustimmen. Ich will jetzt nicht sagen, wenn ihr mir zustimmt, gebt mir einen Daumen nach oben, ganz im Gegenteil, also ne. Wir fangen mit dem hier vorne an, äh, ja. Ne, wir fangen mit dem da an. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Alter, was bist du für ein Fatzke? Irgendwo ist noch was. Aber wo? Ja. Ja, arrogant ist auf jeden Fall der Fatzke. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business. Although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? You were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious. Authoritarian. Unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Okay. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Huh. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Scheiße. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Uh, das war's nicht. Dann nehmen wir den Brief. Ooh. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. 
He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Baal's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Das ist ein Fatzke. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Nee, noch lange nicht. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. So, wie es weitergeht, erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann, bleibt gespannt. Genießt den Tag und bye bye.